Hey, this is Ari with Epic Systems, and uh, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to program the Amazon Echo driver. So picking up from where we left off in the uh, setup video, we had uh, added four uh, triggers so far. Bedroom music, exterior lights, kitchen, and living room. So now that we've defined those triggers, we've uh, already synced those with our Echo and we see them listed under the Smart Home Devices section here. Um, they show us offline, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter. That's just um, just because we haven't actually used them in a while. They show up as offline if you, if you don't use them um, frequently. But regardless, uh, we'll go ahead and show how we can program those to do some interesting things now. So basically, anything that you can do in Control 4 programming is available to you. Um, because we're simply using the standard event model that uh, Control 4 exposes. So for the Amazon Echo, we can simply go to the programming section and then go to the Echo driver. And you'll notice if we select here, we'll have a drop down box. Um, and for each trigger that we defined, the driver automatically generates five different events that we can program against. So for example, for living room, we have an on event, an off event, up, down, and set. And same for all the other uh, triggers that we define. So there's no need in your trigger names to actually say things like living room on or living room off. We could just uh, simply call the trigger living room and then we append those different uh, event types uh, onto your triggers. So for example, if I want to program the living room on, to do something, I can just select that event and then uh, perhaps I want to trigger lighting scene. Um, in this case, I'll use my downstairs room. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and do a uh, music scene. We'll turn on Pandora in the living room when we say... You've got time. mail! Okay, so in order to do that, we can simply go to our... Pandora driver, which is under my rack, and we'll select Pandora. Maybe I want to play a specific station. Perhaps I'll just do a shuffle, and I want to do that in the downstairs is my living room. I call it downstairs, and then I'll just drag that into the project. So now I can go ahead and test my programming by... Um, just talking to my Echo. And one thing that I like to do when I'm actually doing the testing of the programming, I go back to system design, I turn debug mode to print, and then I watch the Lua tab to make sure that it, the Echo heard the right command that I gave it. All right, so here we go. Alexa, turn on living room. And I hear that the echo responded with OK, and I see that it triggered the on event uh, in my living room. So now, after that, it's just up to my programming to be correct, and then I should start hearing music. And I do hear the music coming in my living room. Since you can't hear my living room from here, I'll just pull up um, the Control 4 for PC, and you can see that um, in my downstairs room, the music is now playing. Now. One other cool thing we could do with the new version of our driver is use the set command to set things like the room volume or perhaps a specific lighting level. It's really easy to do that, actually just one line of programming for setting the room volume. So let's create the living room set command to set the volume to whatever the user says to the echo. So I'll go back to programming and I will go to my living room set command and what I'll do then is go to my downstairs room expand room variables select current volume and choose the option to set the volume to a value of another variable and by doing that I can simply just select from any of my other numeric variables in the project and so I'm going to go to my demo room Amazon Echo set value variable and simply drag that into the programming. 
And so what it's going to always do anytime is going to set the downstairs volume to whatever value is passed through from the echo driver. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go back to my Lua and I'm going to say, Alexa, set living room to 10. Okay. And now if I go back here, we can see that it actually set the volume to 9%. Close enough for me. Um, it's probably just a disconnect between my AV receiver and control 4 that's differentiating between 9 and 10%. Alexa, set living room to 20. Okay. There we go, it's back to 20. Alexa, set living room to 30. Alexa, set living room to 30. Okay. And you can hear the volume increasing in my living room. I guess the last time I said it just a little bit too fast. Now let's uh, set something to turn the living room off. So we'll go back to programming. We'll use the living room off command to simply turn the room off. So I'll go to downstairs and say turn off downstairs. Alexa, turn off living room. Okay. And there we go. We see that it shut the room off. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, of course, um, some other cool things you can do with the set command, uh, for instance, is that you can actually set a lighting level, for example. Um, so let's say I wanted to use my kitchen set command to... Uh, turn set the, the value of my kitchen lights to whatever percentage I speak. So let's say we want to do my kitchen cans. And again, I can expand the device variables and then set the light level to a value of Amazon Echo set value. And there we go. And now if we test that, let's go look at my lighting. Looks like I've got a bunch of lights on. Let's turn off all my downstairs lights, which in turn sets my kitchen lights off. You've got mail. And we will go ahead and set the uh, kitchen cans. So Alexa, set kitchen to 70. There we go. You see the light went to 70%. Alexa, set kitchen to 20. Okay. And down to 20%. So that's how you use the set command. Um, now the one thing is um, with the set command we're passing through right now a, a numeric variable so you can't directly set a room temperature although we are working on um, enhancing that to allow passing through the data as a float variable type, which is what's used on uh, thermostat uh, values, so that you could simply uh, set the thermostat uh, temperature. So, for example, I could say thermostat and set the, um, where is it, perhaps the heat set point or the cool set point. Maybe I want to set to the specific value. Right now, we don't see our Amazon Echo variable in this list, although we'll be changing that shortly to uh, also pass the value through as a float so that you'll be able to directly set room temperatures. Other nice things that you can do are, for example, with the up and down commands. So for example, I want to do living room down and I want to program that to trigger a lighting scene. So I can go into my advanced lighting and I want to have that turn on my great room dim scene and activate that scene. And so now all I have to do to trigger the down event is to say uh, to turn the room down or better yet dim the room or lower the room. Those are all words that work for down. So if I go ahead and I say Alexa dim the living room. We could see here that it triggered my dim scene, which set a variety of different lights to 25% in my great room. 
So that's another nice way to, to use the driver. And that's pretty much it. Um, now if we go back to system design and just look at the Lua, you'll see that for each of those different commands that I gave it, um, if we write out some debugging just to show you that the Echo is getting, getting the information and passing it through to our driver. As long as you hear the Echo reply OK, then you know that it worked successfully and got through to our driver, and then it's just a matter of uh, having your programming be correct at that point. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps. Take care.